A Forestville woman is angry with Prince George's County Police. She says they destroyed her fence during a police chase. And two months after the incident, she says no one has offered to help with the expensive repairs. Seven on your side's Brad Bell went looking for answers. Back on July 26th, Marjorie Dixon's quiet cul-de-sac filled with police like a Hollywood chase scene. They was coming up Daniel Drive at a very, very high speed. I mean, with lights blaring and sirens are blaring. The police were in hot pursuit of a suspected burglar in a stolen pickup truck. He did not want to be caught. The next thing I know, I heard a big bang. That was the bad guy racing right up Dixon's yard and through her fence with the police right behind. I saw three squad cars. They were blaring, coming up. They turned here, went straight to my backyard, out to the other side. The chase ended not long after when police captured a man named Rocky Leonard. He's facing a long list of charges, including burglary, theft, unauthorized use of a vehicle. But for Marjorie Dixon, the scene had no Hollywood ending. Her fence is still wrecked. No one ever came back. So all in all, about 80 feet of this chain link fence has been knocked down, ruined. The total bill for repairs? about two grand. I don't care who pays, as long as it gets fixed. For now, the police and the company which insured the stolen car say it's not their problem. Dixon's homeowner's insurance would pay, but she has a high deductible, so she vows to fight on. I think that somebody need to pay for my fence. Brad Bell, ABC 7 News. Prince George's County Police tell Brad Bell the damage is not their responsibility. Prosecutors say they may add the damage cost to the fence to the list of charges against the suspect, Rocky Leonard.